Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mr. Nudge and Explorers of Sky. Where we've left off, we have told the guild the truth, and uh, Shatot was being a dick uh, because he said that, quote-unquote, he believed us right from the start. I don't believe that at all. But even though he said he did, it's still hard to believe. Anyway, we told the guild about this. Uh, about the whole thing going on with the with the future and uh, temporal tower and uh, the hidden land and all that. So our, so our quest to the hidden land is about to begin, and we're about to go to Brian Cave. So let's get started. Oh, right here we we, we were on the beast to uh, look look for Grovile. I was hoping to see Grovile here. No, he's not here after all. Huh? Speaking of not being here, the Krabby aren't here either. Either. They always come out here in the evening to blow bubbles. I love seeing their bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, GBA. The sunset's beautiful, like it always is. You know? It was my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment, but I, would ne but I would have never guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it, where Coffee and his psychic stole my relic fragment? Yep, right here. I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me courage then, GBA. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Soul Force's first adventure. And now, we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the hidden land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventures with Shinx and searching for the hidden land, the relic fragment was the start of both. This beautiful sunset. It will be lost so the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the hidden land. We have to do good tomorrow, GBA. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memory. My mission with the Grove Isle. A mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, GBA. That... What is that? That right there is Lapras. And the settings still suck. Uh, I think I'll fix them. Hold on. Uh, screen settings... Better. Here we go. I'll, I'll restore them later. What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon. Oh, they were eavesdropping us. Great. Cha ha ha! The Krabby weren't around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. Cha! Whoa, whoa, whoa. But, Chief, that old timer Torkoal. That old timer Torco wasn't lying to us after all. Heh <laughs> That junk we stole back then. I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get that relic fragment from, from them one way or another. That means a hidden land is going to be explored by. None other than us, Team Skull. Sha ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you wish. Uh, I think I should change the setting right now. Actually, no. Because of that, yeah. <laughs> screen is so dusty.
There's Lapras. Where's it going? She going. <gasps> Wigglytuff. Lapras! Long time no see. It's been a, it's been too long, Wigglytuff. You look well. Is Shata doing well too? Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear that. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made, and upheld for us, and, and, and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I am here to see you. I'm here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold, uphold, uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. I think I should fix them right now. Screen settings. It's right here. Okay. Yes, I like to save. Okay. Ahem. And so, as you're all quite well aware, Guildmaster has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brian Cave as scheduled. Hey, hey, where'd Guildmaster go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the Guildmaster? No problem. There's no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our uh, that we can manage on our, our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet. Furthermore, in the place of our absent Guildmaster, you have you have me to lead you. Uh, no. Uh, why isn't anyone saying anything? It... it can't be! Do you all think that I'm not up to the task? Everyone, out with it! Am I perhaps... perhaps... inadequate? Worthless to you? Uh, nope. I wouldn't say that, by golly. Like, your master isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know the Guildmaster. He's hard to figure out. But hey, hey, he really comes through when things get rough. Well, the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so we have to take charge and do as, and, and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can. That, I'm sure that we can get the job done on our own. Let's go for it on our own. You're right. We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best. Shatot. The Guildmaster is absent, so there's only one among us who can lead, and that's you, Shatok. Huh? H who? Me? Of course. You said so earlier. You said that we'll be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way! Show us, Shatok! That's right! Show us, Shatok! Hey, hey! Yep, yep, I'm counting on you. Well, everyone... You can always count on me when th things are this bad. What's the matter, Shatot? Sound the co sound the call to duty already. I know, I know. Commencing now, we shall depart on a guild exploration of Brian Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Hooray! Yay! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're going already. We didn't have to get to. It didn't have to get packed with the, the, the items and the money and shit. Oh. Ah, great. Now listen, everyone. This is the entrance to Brian Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of this dungeon. That is where one will find the same odd pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that Shinx has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. Extremely vicious? Golly, that sounds scary. <laughs> Hey, hey, Shatot! What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Shatot, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon, hey, hey? 
Shatot, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored here a long time ago, with the Guildmaster. It was deep in this cave that we saw the peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokémon appeared. So what were they like? Tough, you say? Uh, I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I'm loath to admit it. They attacked me. They attacked with no warning, out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the guildmaster was tending to my wounds. But I had no memory of events before that, so I couldn't tell you what the attackers were like. <sighs> it gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know the kind of enemy we're facing? We'll have to make our way slowly. Wait a second! Hey, Shatot. At first you said there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. There's more than one? No, it wasn't just one. There was one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. When they attacked... Oh! I remember now! They attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water. Like a tidal wave! Like a tidal wave? That could mean water type moves. We're a ground type. We're a ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go if it, it Yeah. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. That's right. We should make several groups to explore the cave. We'll do that, sir. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You two. Remember what the guildmaster said yesterday. The two members from Team Soul Force must be in my group. Therefore, you, tell, you two shall accompany me when exploring this cave. Understood? I trust you won't hold me up too much. Oh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. <clears throat> Understood. Alright, everyone. We're off to conquer Brian Cave. Let's give it our all. Hooray. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, the Kangas God statue destroyed the fucking items. Ah. Why in a rush? <laughs> Chief, looks like these those lusts from the guild are already inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we follow them? <laughs> Sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along, somewhere in the cave. And that's when we'll grab that whippy Shinx's relic fragment. Then we'll hightail it to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory of solving this mystery. Heh <laughs> brilliant, Chief. Your plan's perfect. Cha ha ha. Naturally. Anyway, it will be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones going to the hidden land. You wouldn't survive floor one. You don't know jack shit about that dungeon. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Cha ha. Very catchy music, I like it. 
Brine Cave. Here we are. Just surrounded by water types. In a cave. And, uh... I guess the track is telling us, uh, even though danger lurks uh, ahead of us, we still have to explore the place. Doesn't really give any tension at all. Like, uh, it, 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 it actually gives us the feeling that we should just keep on going. Who cares if there's a uh, tough Pokemon ahead of us? We can do this, right? We have nothing to worry about. Who cares about the planet's paralysis? There's nothing that can stop us. I guess it's like that. I'm just guessing. I, I don't know. Well, not really one of my favorite tracks, but it's still good. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. The 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 melody itself is really dang catchy. But uh, oh, crap. Well, thanks a ton, Shatot. I really love it when they do that of when uh, they uh, basically shield you when you're very low on HP. I really love that. But sometimes other Pokemon can do it when you're facing a uh, monster house. When, 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 a, when an enemy Pokemon is very low on HP, the Pokemon behind it will shield, will shield your attack on it making Monster Houses even more painful to deal with. And I wouldn't be surprised if I if I found one in this dungeon, because... Well, as you can tell already, this dungeon is already tough, because... I almost died. Thankfully, Shatot was kind enough to uh, shield me and protect me. Level 38, I don't know which... Uh, I don't know the level of these Pokemon, so... Uh, screech. I'm fine with this. Okay, so, uh... I guess I'll just, uh... Destroy a few Pokemon so I can level up a bit. Damn, Shatot! Never knew the... Never knew that you'd be that competent. You know... You know, uh, Shatot's uh, move kind of reminds me of that one time when uh, Azrael the Angel, a uh, YouTube user of mine, he's, uh, he's an, he's an I, in real life friend of mine. He has, uh, the, he has the original copy of uh, Explorers of Darkness, and when he, uh, of course, he, his, his starter was Riolu, and then he evolved into Lucario when he was into, uh, I think it was in uh, Dark Crater, which was... We're not going to go there until the end of the game. There's two endings in this game, by the way. This is the first one. But anyway, he, he, he told me of, uh, he just wanted to show me of, uh, of how overpowered his Lucario was in, uh, in Explorers of Darkness. Like, how OP am I? Use Dig on a Combuskin. Combuskin use Mirror Move. Wow. How OP. <laughs> That, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was really funny seeing you hear his reaction. How OP am I? Dig. Mirror move. No way! Dies. <laughs> you fucked up bad that time. <laughs> next time, don't use dig. Or next time, use uh, use dig not on combustion. Haha, level 39 seems like our HP is almost uh, touching the very end of the screen. It's, uh... Well, you know, sometimes uh, Pokemon HP can be, uh... can extend uh, on limited reaches of the screen. Like, for instance, it went up by three, but our HP didn't increase. Well, it's still going, it's just off-screen, you know? Kinda like that. Hey, do me a favor and use quick- Hey, uh, Shatok, can you- can you shield me? Or not? Oh, God! Oh, dear lord. Uh, do me a favor, please. Kill it. No, don't use mirror move! Oh, my God. 
Take this! Uh, what? Whatever. Fourth ball. Shit. Screw protect! Crap! I'm dead. Good thing my stats are, are back to normal. That way I can kill everything easier. Slow down. Can't move. Son of a bitch. Ah! Gotcha. Oh man. Okay. Oh yeah, I was about. I I, I think I uh in, in my last episode I was talking about uh, Mega Man X7. I uh okay. Where did I uh? S where did I uh, start off on there? Ride Borski stage. Had to do something with uh, the bumper car uh, speed of the ride chaser. The thing is about uh, Ride Borski stage is that you're supposed to collect every I don't know 14. I think it's 14 bombs in in, in the on the road. And since the uh, and since the speed of the ride chaser uh, d depends on, on how uh, long you press and hold the button to accelerate, you can uh, very easily miss the bomb. It's like, oh no, I just missed a bomb, even though it's literally right behind me. Well, time to go take another lap and get it back. That's bullshit. I, I gotta say, that, that, is, that is bullshit right there. Why can't he just get... Why can't you just pick up the bombs on foot? I mean, I've seen a ton of Mega Man games where you're supposed to uh, defuse bombs and all that. Like Mega Man Zero, you can use, you can just defuse the bombs by just cutting them down off the wall. God knows how they don't explode after getting sliced by the Z Saber. Logic. Anyway, still. X7 just, uh, has its moments for me, and that moment was just... no. Wait. I thought Roost, uh, does Wait, Roost actually puts you to sleep? In this game? I thought it only just heals your HP. That's weird. Okay. Okay, enough, enough talk about Mega Man, even though that I'm a really... I'm a hardcore fan of, of Mega Man. I, I, I just... That's just the only thing I like talking about. Can you blame me? I mean, my profile picture is a fan art image of, of Mega Man X in his shadow armor in Mega Man X6. By far the coolest looking armors in the entire series. Though, kind of, uh not really that great in battle because you can't air dash you can't use you can't use weapons you can't uh, well all you have in your arsenal is zero Z saber which you can use really lightning fast and uh, also you can shoot shurikens well it's kind of like the Crescent shot from X5, meaning that uh, it's it's random of where where the shuriken is is aimed at. Is it gonna shoot in the middle, down, upward? Don't know. It's random. That's why the that's why the crescent shot was not really all that great in X5 because it sucked. It really did. I didn't like it. Of course, the only use I had for it was uh, using it charged. And, uh, using it to, uh, crap. To, uh, well, get rid of those, uh, devices in Easy Glow stage. That's just it. Anyway, is there anything else I should talk about? Other than this dungeon that's nearly fucking me over everywhere I go? Discord. Zelda. Huh. Nintendo Switch. I guess I can talk about the Nintendo Switch. 
I think I talked about it before, but I'll just get my thoughts again. Very creative. Yeah. Oh my god. Here we go. Wasn't even aware of that. Thank you, Shot Tot. Okay. Anyway, Nintendo Switch. Very creative idea, yet, uh,. I would not be surprised if they're, uh, if, if, it looks easily, uh, stealable. Is that even a word? Looks easily stealable, cause, uh, it's both a home console, and if fucking hell, I died twice. I gotta be more careful. I just gotta wing it and just go for it. Oh god. Oh no. Why is my accuracy so low? Get out of here! Help me! Shit! Ugh, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, it's both a home console and a handheld console. Where you can uh, take it with you, or just keep it at home and play and play with it. 400 bucks. That's a reasonable price, I, I think. I guess. Though, I do hope that, uh, that there will at least be some, uh, decent, uh, titles, uh, than the ones that we've seen in, uh, in the trailer. Like Super Mario Bros. Odyssey, that one, I guarantee, is going to be a huge success based upon what, of what I've seen in it. It looks really cool and creative. Though people keep on complaining like, what the hell, is this Grand Theft Auto or Sonic Adventure or Mario or all three at once? What the fuck am I looking at? I think you should just shut up and give the game a try. Of course I keep on, of course, I keep on seeing a lot of people, a lot of uh, Link saying, is Super Mario Bros. Odyssey destined to fail? And you would know that how exactly? I mean, I mean, for God's sake, the, the game is not going to be released until next holiday. This holiday. Not not last hol- no. Apparently it's going to be released this coming holiday. Why? I don't know. Did they really uh, come into uh, did they Did they really get into the development of Super Mario Bros. Odyssey uh, uh, for the trailer? Because it looks like- it looks complete to me, but why does it need to be released this holiday? Kind of will my fucking goddess. Kill it! Circle. Fuck that move. If I died, it was over. It's over. Boom. It's over if I get hit by sheer cold. I have no revive seeds. It's a one hit KO if it hits. Oh my god. Who's that? <gasps> Who's there? Hello? Dugong alone. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Now, it's a. Well, shit. Aqua Ring decided to wake up Dugong. Thanks a t oh. Is he- is he fast? No, he's not fast. This nigga dead! Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh... Smart Bros. Odyssey. Not destined to fail. Looks great. Screw the critics. Also, why is- Also... Mario's hat has eyes. Okay, looks pretty cool. I'd like to know what it is. As long as it's not going to be an annoying as shit navigator in the Zelda series, we'll be fine. It should be fine. I'm pretty sure uh, Super Mario Bros. Odyssey would be a very great game. Anyway, we've gotten pretty far down. Hey, Shatot, are we nearing the place where you saw that pattern? We're nearly there. We don't have far to go. However, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokemon. 
yes, we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we'll have far to go now. Let's keep up. Let's keep it up, GBA. Oh, God! Didn't even see that coming. Ow! Whoops! Excuse me! Hey! Whoa! Whoa. Long time, weaklings. Oh! You're that nice team, eh? This is it? The relic fragment? Th that's... I'll take this. Hey! This is the second time you're getting mugged for this. <laughs> you don't learn very well, that's for sure. Wait, please! I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here. Why are you even here? We haven't seen any of you from Team Skull since you suddenly disappeared during the expedition. I fretted for your well-being. Worried, huh? Cha. <laughs> Your guild's full of gullible nincompoops just waiting to be fleeced. Oh, oh, oh? Your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now. Shaton! They were deceiving the guild all this time! They're a bad exploration team! Team Skull is a bunch of crooks! W w what Is that true? Whoa, what else? You'd have to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. <laughs> Anyway, now we've got the relic fragment. Now we just have to go to the hidden land. Eat your heart out, nitwits! Cha ha ha! Squawk! Squawk! Those stinking scoundrels! Play me for a fool, will they? Squawk! They won't get away with this! I'll show them what it means to trifle with me! Hey, wait! Shatot! He's gone! Shatot was sure furious. I hope he'll be okay. After all, there are those vicious Pokemon he warned us up that, that he'd warned us about lurking ahead. Not just that, we still need to recover my relic fragment from Skunk Tank. We should hurry too. Oh, I can't Ah, uh, I can't get any items. It'd be useful if I could though. Lower Brian Cave. Now the music's getting tense. You come this far. The vicious Pokemon are only a few floors away from you. You're you're about to face them. Be prepared. Do you think you can make it? Time's running out. Pretty good. Oh no! Screw your minimize! No, 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 no. Okay. What can I- can I recruit any Pokemon here? Nope. Not yet, though. Because apparently, uh... Because apparently recruiting Pokemon is not plot relevant. It'd be a waste of time. I guess. Okay, other than Super Mario Bros. Odyssey, I think uh, Splatoon 2 would uh, be a pretty good game. Even though that I own Splatoon, and even though that I don't play it all that much at all, because Asia likes to fuck me over. They really do. I mean, every time when I play Splatoon, I, I get fucked, no matter which weapon I use. It's like... I, how can I get killed by some kind of sploosh matic weapon? How do people even use that weapon so easily? It's so short range and it barely does any damage. My god. Oh, and the classic splatter shot. Come on now, really? I'll just use that. Well, the NES Zapper gun? Yeah, I used to mean that weapon. Until, uh, I did kick some serious ass with it the first time. I think it was uh, back in the uh, play demo, I think. First platoon. But, uh, now I, I'm just terrible at it. I just usually stick with the, uh, Golden Roller or the, uh, some kind of... Uh, okay, I forgot what it was called. It's like Kelp... S kelp... Scope... Uh, Splatter Shot, I think that's what it's called. You know, just zoom in and then you just get... Just zoom in and just no-scope everyone. Man, man, the freaking snipers in Splatoon were the best weapons ever. Of course, E3 leader... 
E E three K liter E K three liter super scope. Those are good too, but very laggy. Even though that the range is ridiculous, it's still not that. It's a very slow weapon, and uh, you could probably die uh, with anything if you ever use that weapon, unless you go with it. Oh my God, a wall rain. Mind me. Oh, it's easy. Pure seed. I can take that though. Okay. Yay! Could have just went down. Nah, whatever. Anyway, Splatoon 2. I think it'd be. I think it'd be a great game. As long as there's at least going to be a decent story mode and some more uh, maps and online modes better than uh, Turf Wars and uh, Tower Defense or like classic battle mode. Yeah, battle mode. I hope it would be more better than the first. Also, the new weapons that I've seen in the trailer like uh, Ink clouds look pretty devastating. And, uh, and apparently you can roll too instead of just freaking, uh, of just hide like a coward in the ink and try to, uh, can, to just mind gain your opponent and just surprise attack them. I am terrible at Splatoon. No matter what I do, I just always get fucked over. No matter which weapon I use, it's just... Wow. Though I seem to a kick ass with the, the sniper rifles and the golden roller, but I still get fucked. I mean, the Splatoon is probably the game that makes me salty. For good reason, too. I mean, even though that, that Splatoon is uh, basically some kind of... It's, it's a kid's game. I've played uh, games that are similar to it, like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Of course, I've never owned it, I've only played it. I can understand of why I would be salty playing Splatoon, because it's an online uh, shooter game. And I'm pretty sure everyone who's played online shooter games get salty to the point where they just want to, th they just want to fucking break their Wii U. Or just throw their gamepad on the floor and just just destroy it with with their weight or something I don't know but come on also another thing Splatoon 2 why can't they just call it Splatoon you had one you, you had one chance to name it that but no you just had to uh, use your basic freaking kiddish knowledge like it's a game sequel like you know, like every other sequel. I don't know the last time of where, of, of where, um, when Nintendo just, um, made a decent sequel a title. Like, usually it's like, this, this game too. Uh, maybe, um, Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Well, that's okay. Splatoon. Okay. Splatoon 2. No. Wrong. You had one chance and you failed. Ass. Well, to be honest, seeing the number two in Splatoon would probably be would probably look kind of dumb. So maybe that's the reason why they just they just decided to call it Splatoon two instead of Splatoon. Smart thinking, I guess, but it still would have been a. It, they could have at least made it work, but no. Splatoon 2. Can't wait for it. Looks good. Arms. Just arms. I can make a reference with that. I mean, the first the I mean, the first thing that came to my mind when I, when I first saw the uh, when I first saw the name of the game called Arms, I immediately thought of that one Sonic Adventure parody of where of where Tails was named Arms. 
It's ARMS! Sonic's new best buddy! A magical Kitsune! Kitsune is Japanese for... For Fox or something like that. <laughs> that parody was hilarious. That's, that's the first thing that came to my mind when I, when I first saw that title. Why is it called ARMS? Because you fight with them. Giant robotic arms. There's a lot of memes made just just made fun of the title already, so yeah. Also Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Great. Looks great. Just as long as they as, as they don't fuck up anything or just make anything worse, it'll be great. We got the characters from Mario Kart Wii, we got a battle mode system, we got new we got the inklings of joining the joining the area, which is pretty cool I guess. And uh it doesn't seem that there's not going to be any more any new courses. It'd be cool if they would, though. But anyway, also Breath of the Wild. Not I can't leave that out. That game's going to be amazing. I just know it. Anyway, well, we've descended quite a ways, but we haven't caught up to Shatot or Team Skull yet. Oh, this is the part of where uh, where I need to switch the screen here. This place, it's horribly hot and humid in here. Hey! I heard a voice over there! Let's go, GBA! He beat them up. Wow! It's Team Skull! Uh. What happened to you guys? Oh, no way! Were you attacked by a mysterious gang of enemies? You knew it was coming. Would have been good to know that. Not that you'd tell us. <laughs> Skunk Tank, are you all right? <sighs> you find us at your mercy, and you're worried how we are. How sick! How sick and generous can you nitwits be? We're not about to walk away from anyone if they're hurt. <laughs> your concerns waste on us. We'll be fine. That pompous shatot. He riled up, he riled me up enough to get me, to keep me going. Huh? Shata did what? Here's what he did. That Shata came along after we got wiped out. When he spotted us down and out, he scolded us with all sorts of choice words. Shata. After giving us that blistering tongue lashing, he went on his way. The things he said about us, I'm still seeing red. I'm so steaming mad that I cannot refuse to give up here. I'm getting out of here if I have to crawl, so I can deliver my payback to that blasted shatot. But, if you think about it, we were close to giving up, and that shatot saved us by riling, riling us up. Shahaha. <laughs> but even though you say you've been saved, you look like you're still in a lot of pain. Shahaha. <laughs> We've been bad to you two all this time. You went through downright rotten times because of us. But, you two... You two still can bring yourselves to worry about the likes of us? Yes, you did make us furious over this and that, but when we see you down and out like this, we can't just walk away. Ha ha ha. Hey, the relic fragment! Ha ha ha. Oops. How unlike me. The relic fragment slipped out of my grip. Ha ha. I can't move yet. That shakes is going to steal it back. Ha ha ha. Skunk tank. I only dropped the relic fragment by accident. You're free to pick it up. Or not. Skunk tank. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> Why thank me? The next time we meet, we're going to be back to our old tricks and messing with you. Shahaha. <laughs> Besides, don't waste your time worrying about us. You should be worrying about Shatot instead. That's right! Where did Shatot go? He went deeper. He's going after those enemies. You two hurry up and go too. Thanks, Skunk Tank. We're going in deeper after them. Skunk Tank, be sure to get your team out. Don't give up. Huh. I'll ask you I'll ask you to not patronize Team Skull. Shaha. We have to go, GBA. You too. Can you move? Oh ho. You can't be serious. <laughs> the way they trounced us, I'm just too wiped out. So that's it. Well, it must really look like a mess. Shahaha. 
Oh, oh, oh. But, Chief, I like how you kept it to yourself until the very end. That you're a little bit of a good guy. You redeemed yourself. Shut it. <laughs> but I gotta say, Chief, there's something to be said about you doing that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, Shatot! <clears throat> you two. Be alert. They're very close by. I saw the retreating figures when I gave chase. But I lost sight of them by, by the time I reached this spot. He must be lurking here somewhere. There's a top screen for a reason. But there doesn't appear to be any place to hide there. To hide here. What is this? An odd sense of foreboding. There are only these rock walls around us. That one glance I caught at them. I'm on the verge of remembering. That's it! Well, they attacked me last time. They seem to they seem to appear out of nowhere. But where they finally appeared from was up there. Jinx! GBA! Be careful! They're above us! What? What? I am Kabutops. And the Armastar brothers. All trespassers need to be taught a lesson. Take that! Ah! Shut up! What? I won't let you get away with this. How do you like that? That hero shielded his bodies with his bot. Shielded his buddies with his body. That's not what I call smart. Hey, I remember. Kabutops. That big hero has been here before. We knocked him out the same way, too. This is the second time he's done that? That really takes a whole lot of smarts. Ha ha ha! Say what you will. There. Our prize recruits. I won't let you harm them. Shatot. Uh. Shatot! Ha 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 ha! It's your turn next. Take this! Okay, now I can switch this. Let's go. Okay, what to do first? Uh, I think Kabutops is the uh, is the main is the main one. So, Sleep Seed and the Cross Eye Seed. Uh, is there anything you can activate? Wait, you have swagger. We're fine. Let's do this. Screech on 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 Kabutops or Kabutops. Kabutops. Oh shit! No 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 no. Okay, normal attacks. Roll out. No 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 no. Force paw. Fight. What are you doing? I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, he should be dead by now. Okay, good job. Crap. Get him! Got him! Shit. Uh, Ornberry. Wait. Orin. Got it. Oh my god, that did a ton of damage! We can do this. Force Paul. Got him. Pretty little bitch. That. We did it. We got him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow, what cowards. <laughs> Shout out! Uh. Shout out! Are you alright? Stay with us! Shout out! That voice. Guildmaster. And Grovile. Quickly tough! And Grovile too! Guildmaster! Ah! Grovile! What does Grovile do with the Guildmaster? I'll explain later. This is more important. Shatot! Hey, hey, this is bad! Shatot is down! Golly, he's hurt! 
Shatot, are you okay? Are you hurt? <sighs> I'm fine. I'm hale and hearty, as you can see. Shatot, I'm sorry, Shatot. If only I got here earlier. Please don't blame yourself, Guildmaster. But this is so humiliating to be knocked out by the same enemies again. That isn't true, Shatot. Last time we came here, you were knocked out right away, Shatot, so you probably don't remember this. But that time, when Kabotop, the, when, bleh, when Kabotop's gang sprang out at us, you shielded me from attack, Shatot. Excuse me? I sent Kab Kabotop's gang packing right after that, but if it weren't for you jumping out to shield me, Shatot, I would have been knocked out on the spot. I owe you my life. I owe my life to Shatot. That's... What happened? Shatot, you are my invaluable partner. I I am privileged to hear such words, Guildmaster. I'm such a happy Pokemon. <laughs> Whoa! Shatot! Shatot! Everyone, stay calm. Yes, you live. He still has time. Get him back to the guild now. Well then, quick, let's all go back to the guild. No, we will take Shatot back to the guild. But as for you, GBA and Shanks, and you, Girlvile, you three must keep going. But don't worry about it. Besides, if you don't go on from here, Shatot shielding you, Shatot shielding you will have been will have been for nothing. Ugh. Strange pattern is up ahead. Now hurry. Thanks, Wigglytuff. We will continue onward. Let's go, Shanks. GBA. Okay. Let's go, GBA. Good luck. Find the hidden land! Grovile, how did you know to join us here? Wigglytuff brought me. What? Wigglytuff did? That's right. Wigglytuff had been looking for me. As soon as he found me, he asked me to go with him. He said you were close to finding the hidden land. It worked out fine because I planned to join you anyway. Plan to join us? Wait, does that mean... That's right. I've collected all the necessary time gears. Yes! All I have to do now is get to the hidden land. So let's find that place with a strange pattern now. Whoa! Wow, there's water here. Hold on. This is seawater. Look at that, GBA. cave's mouth opens wide to the sea. We couldn't see from outside because it's in the shadows. It's true. The sea is visible beyond the rock walls. It's nearly evening. We didn't notice the time go by. The tide rises up to here from, the, from that gap in the walls. Oh! That's... What? GBA, what's wrong? Hey, look at this! This is the same as the pattern on my relic fragment. I guess it's the same pattern that Shatot described. Let me bring out the relic fragment. It's resonating. Hey! The relic fragment! Wow! The pattern on the wall is glowing now? Sorry, this is a bit uh, important for me to do this. Yes, it's glowing. It's as if it's reacted to the relic fragment. Ah! Oh my god, my screaming is so cringy. Sorry about that. Shing. What? What was that? A beam of light. Sh a beam of light shot out to the sea. What's that out there? Lapras. What? That's. It's coming closer. It's swimming. Shanks, GBA, and Grovile, correct? You know our names? Yes, I was informed by Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff told you? That pattern on the wall shot a beam of light across the sea. You appeared right after that. Can you tell me who you are? I'm Lapras. I am the guide to the hidden land. You're what? 
You can take us to the hidden land? You unleash the beam of light from the pattern on the wall. That is a signal for gaining entry to the hidden land. It is beyond the sea. Step onto my back. I will carry you across the sea. Don't be afraid. I'm exceptional. I can carry you all and more on my back. It's beyond the sea. The hidden land. GBA. Shinx. Let's go. Beyond the sea. Uh, actually, we are going to, uh, go to the hidden land next episode. Because I've recorded long enough. 55 minutes. So, this is, this, this quest ends of finding the hidden land. All I had to do was just basically talk to Torkoal and get some of his quote-unquote wisdom and uh, basically uh, talk to Shatot and Wigglytuff and they basically just said stuff about the strange pattern they saw, which was the relic fragment. Then they had, then it turns out that the, that, that the, design that they saw was in Brian Cave, went to Brian Cave, put the Relic Fragment right next to the strange design they saw on the wall, saw Lapras, and we are on our way to the Hidden Land. And it's going to be much, much more tougher than the last dungeon that we've been in. Even though that, I, that I have no Reviver Seeds left, I am in for a real treat. The Hidden Land is home to extremely tough Pokemon. Magmortar, Obama Snow, Perugly, Garchomp, Dragonite. Oh my god. That place is going to be really fucking tough. So, until then, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. This is GBA049, signing out. Going offline. See you later. It's going to be great. Gonna get even more dramatic too. Will I be able to do it? Yes. I will. Getting emotional just thinking about it. <laughs>